Hello everyone, welcome to another Corbett Gaming Achievement Walkthrough. This is Life Expectancy, bringing you a beginner speedrun tutorial for Ori and the Blind Forest from Moon Studios. I want to begin this by saying, once again, this is my all-time favorite game. I've been playing video games for 30 years now, and this is far and away my favorite game I have ever played. Shout out to Moon Studios for creating such a masterpiece. With that being said, let's move on to the tutorial. Now, I'm not going to be talking through this entire video or even the majority of it. The primary purpose of this video is for followers on True Achievements using the walkthroughs and um, guides on there for the supersonic achievement, which is for beating the game in under three hours. This video will show you the path to take to get through the game in roughly an hour and a half, although if you're an inexperienced uh, speedrunner at this game, it might take you upwards of two hours. However, do not be concerned about dying a whole lot and wasting a lot of time. I will tell you that if you want to circumvent problems with dying and whatnot, as many people already are aware, you can save your game periodically. And if you start to have problems or you've died a lot or perhaps taken too long in a certain area, you can quit out of the game and reload your save and that will take your clock on your game as well as your death count back to your previous save. Now, that being said, the death count and also the time spent will carry over if you continue to die and allow the game to reload. So if you, for instance, if you die and then your uh, Ori loads back at your most recent save, then by the you know after it loads if you quit out then reload that save again your death count is still going to show that death however if you die and you quit out before it loads at your most recent save then that death will not register and the time spent will not register either so that's a way to erase problems that you may have whether you uh, think of that being an ethical way to go for the achievements or not, it's a different story and a different discussion. But just a tip if you're struggling with this. As I said, this video will show the path to getting through the game in about an hour and a half. Unfortunately, I had to take down my previous speedrun video. Um, I didn't have to, but YouTube had monetized my video for the quote-unquote claimant for a copyright claim. I had put a 90 second clip, probably not even 90 seconds, of uh, Eye of the Tiger at the end of a 90 minute video. And somehow they seem to think that people are watching an hour and a half of a speed run just to hear a little clip from a song from some copyright holder. So they monetized the video in favor of that copyright holder and started cramming ads into my video. And as you all know, I don't like to do that. I do this out of passion for gaming and I want you to be able to watch ad free videos. Any ads or pop ups that you may see on my videos are strictly those placed on there by YouTube. They have nothing to do with any monetization on my part and I have made sure recently that none of my videos have any copyright claims. That's why I'm re-recording this and this one isn't quite as perfect of a run. My previous speed run video was a start to finish one hour and 28 minutes speed run with zero deaths without quitting out to the main menu without using any glitches. This particular run, I think I died twice, um, possibly three times. I'm trying to remember if I, I think I died during the escape sequence at the end and I made a really dumb mistake um, during Mount Huru. I can't remember if I died before that or not, um, but at most I think it was three deaths. At any, way, at any rate, um, a little bit rusty there haven't really tried to focus on a perfect speed run of this game in quite some time now so um, I was a little rusty at going for this uh, recording but I wanted to go ahead and make it and get it back up on true achievements for those of you using it so I hope you enjoy it if you follow along with my uh, video here what I would suggest is watch maybe three to five minutes of it and then go ahead and run through that section of the game on yours uh, save and quit out to the main menu, watch the next segment, try to get through that on your game, and so on and so forth. I would periodically make a backup of your save, so if you've gotten through a good bulk of the game and you've got your save, you know, um, I'd say maybe 10 to 15 minutes at a, at a stretch, go ahead and 
when you back out to the main menu, make a copy of that save file so that if you do make some mistakes and inadvertently waste a lot of time and get a lot of deaths, if you're going for the zero deaths achievement as well, or simply waste a lot of time when you're going for supersonic, um, if you manage to somehow ruin your save file, rather than having to start all the way over at the beginning, you can just uh, reload and copy over your backup save and you might only have to lose you know 10 or 15 minutes of progress so um, that's that's the other big advice that I would give but yeah just follow along with this video you're gonna see me do a couple of very minor tricks I don't do anything major I don't do any huge skips uh, this one right here is one for instance instead of dragging that rock over you run over just slam right into the spikes and you get momentary invincibility from hitting those spikes you have to be really quick about it hit the spikes and then jump up onto the wall and jump again to get up above them before the split second of invincibility wears out. And that saves probably a good, I don't know, 20 or 30 seconds of pushing that boulder across that section. So yeah, there are a couple of very minor shortcuts like that in this playthrough, but by all means, take the long way. You don't have to do those shortcuts. I only do them um, out of habit. But for the most part, I take uh, basically what I would call the beginner's route. I don't do any huge skips or glitches. Um, I don't do any really difficult, quicker ways to do uh, certain rooms. You know, there's a couple of rooms in the Jinso tree that there are ways that are maybe a minute or two faster than the way that I do it in this video. But I was focusing on making something that just about anyone of any skill level could follow along with. So yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, as always, please like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, if you're not on True Achievements, check it out. It's a great website. Put me down as a referral if you're new to the site. And have an awesome day.
Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, <laughs> 